Hey everybody, Trolley Foley here, the troll you can trust. Back with a Walking Dead Rose Survive video. Featuring a live look at leagues. They are finally here. You are looking at my home region, Macon. Get out of here, war. It's not about you right now. And we are going to look in depth about these new changes that have finally hit the live servers. If we click in the top left of this shield, it will bring us to our league leaderboard. The leaderboard you see is not an all-in-one leaderboard. There are hundreds of these and we are all placed in separate pools where we compete against each other for us to be placed in the appropriate leagues. You can see everyone's current trophies and the one thing I think we all were wanting to know, the rewards. Here we can see it's not only getting league tokens, but a hefty amount of coins as well. If we were to take the current route of watching ads for coins per day, that adds up to about 150 coins per day, which if you are ranking yourself high, you are almost doubling your coin income per day. It looks like gold gets 900 coins, while platinum gets 1200, and diamond gets 1400 coins for the seeding rewards. That was the solo look at the league leaderboard, so let's jump over to the faction league's leaderboard. As you can see here, our faction is right below the platinum promotion zone, with rewards being league and season tokens. In the top left is the current part we are in for the league. We start off in a seeding process, which puts us in bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond leagues. The next part is the qualifying stretch, which will assign us in the respected area of the league, such as if you were placed in platinum for the seeding, then the qualifying stretch will rank you platinum one, platinum two, platinum three, or platinum four. The season one milestones is on a per season basis. If you are to get all the milestones, you will be rewarding yourself with 31,760 season tokens. If we were to click on the events button next to seeding, we will see that wars, raids, and territory battles give trophies. This section will let us know what will give trophies in this current state of the game. In case you're a very forgetful person, this will probably be very helpful for you, such as myself. <laughs> One thing we will want to look at here, which will dictate a lot of our trophies, we get is our battle bonus. If you were to look at my current team here, it will show above S5++ now, as I am currently at S8++. This goes towards a trophy multiplier called a battle bonus. The stronger your team is with a leadership skill, weapon mods, combat mods, and the stronger your survivors get via tearing them up and leveling them up will all now improve your team grade, which will result in a higher and better battle bonus. I covered the schedule in another video as that one had start and end times to allow you all to plan if you are the planning type of person. Now for the badass part, the store. As I have a video on when it was in the beta, we will briefly talk over the league store as hardly anything has changed. All the same items being sold in the beta are now being sold here. The only difference I noticed was the combat mod boxes have been altered to suit their league section more accurately. As before, the platinum combat mods was giving a silver combat mod, which now it's all gold combat mods. We have gear, weapon crafting materials, and combat mods, basically everything we need in this store. Now for the juiciest part of it all, the Season Store. This isn't as beefy as it was in the beta, but it's still pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> Starting with the weapons, let's look at Ezekiel's sturdy SMG. This is not a bad weapon if you have a red human shield. <gasps> oh, which I think is coming soon. Oh. Oh, oh man, that nasty Premier cough there. Whew. Anyways, the HP and defense with no AP generation fits very well with red human shields. Next up is Mirabelle's Violent Saw Blade, which to me I see a very sexual and perverted unicycle. This weapon is a very good offensive weapon, and if you choose to not put stun on it and go for pure damage by scaling the attack to 45%, you can place this weapon on a double attack adrenaline rush survivor like Bruce, and you will be able to potentially go toe to toe with any trait survivor. Looking at these 6,000 league token survivors, I would personally not buy Prius or Conrad. And if you were going to spend 6,000 League Tokens, just buy Kelly. Granted, the way progression seems to work for the 5 star era on a region really doesn't last that long, especially since 6 stars can be pulled through Premier Wheels. As soon as you ascend Kelly, his stats surpass the other two, and if you happen to go for the other two, I feel you will be hitting a dead end with them sooner than expected. 5 stars are a dying breed, and the name of the game now is 6 stars. Speaking of ascendable six stars, how about these last two here? Seasonal Mirabelle and Seasonal Ezekiel. Let's take a look at Zeke first. His leadership skill allows us to have 
rainbow teams. That means we don't just have to have team comps with two traits, such as yellow-green or red-blue. We can now combine three. Hell, even four, making it useful for all colors, aka rainbow. This has a very nice use on offense, but I think the major usefulness of this comes when it's used on defense. His Adrenaline Rush heals for 40% health and gives 40% bonus health, giving three teammates 80% health recovery. Cleansing all impairs and confuses seem to be a big middle finger to disarm Michonne's confuse weapon, blue impair weapons, and confuse and impair actives, which blues have quite a bit of. If you were to use Zeke as your leader, you would be showing red, which would make sense if blues were to come raid you. Also, his right arm seemed a bit off, <laughs> almost like it's half the size of his other arm. His active is Recover Bleed, which I find useful now, sort of, but I think it'll be more useful down the road, when more Last Raiders, Bleed Combat mods, and Hemorrhages are added to the game. Next up is Breast Reduction Pimpin' Mirabelle, and by the looks of her, makes sense. She is using that perverted unicycle as being a pimp in a post-APOC world, usually means slim pickings, so you go, girl. We have another seasoned survivor with a leadership skill, which to me screams offense. Seeing as damage dealer role survivors have high attack and health makes her a good fit for a multi-damage team comp. Her adrenaline rush deals 450% damage to a line of enemies, which will make any yellow defending teams that have two yellows in a line pay for that decision. She will remove attack penalties just like Vincent's adrenaline rush does, giving any teams that will reduce your attack hold little to no merit. On top of it all, she is a very useful person to adrenaline rush with at the start of the turn as she will give your entire team 50% attack for two turns. Her active is a double whammy in which she will give herself attack and 30% AP. Normally, you would basic attack to get AP and then be commanded to use an Adrenaline Rush. Here with Mirabelle's active, if we can use it to get her AR full, we can then command her to use her Adrenaline Rush. Both situations, she gets commanded, but in the second option, she Adrenaline Rushes with 40% bonus attack rather than 0% bonus attack. As when she uses her Adrenaline Rush, the attack bonus comes after the damage. I do hope you are all as excited about this as I am. I know I am curious to see where I land in leagues and the league divisions compared to the entire player base as I am over being limited or compared to just what is in my region. As I think it is good that we are going more and more on a grand scale. We are going more global. I think that's always a positive direction. That will wrap up the first look at leagues going live to the public regions video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video and made you laugh, what do you think about it? Please give a nice call, Roddy. Chop that like and subscribe button. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Support you greatly. Appreciate it. And on that, I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye.